Sam Walton made in America. Now, if you don't know who Sam Walton is, guys, by far one of my favorite entrepreneurs and one of my favorite success stories. Now, here's why. Sam Walton took a store, one store, and did around $30,000 in gross sales that one year to now today, last year actually, Walmart did around three, what was it, like $500 billion in sales, which is insane, and they had around 270 million customers every single week, which is absolutely insane also. The size and magnitude of Walmart has expanded like beyond all dreams. On top of that, guys, if you didn't know this, right, the Walton family is worth around $140 billion. There's no error there. It's $140 billion that this family is actually worth. And all because of Sam Walton and actually believing in what he actually wanted to believe in. And on top of that, guys, Sam Walton might not be around anymore, but he did leave behind this great book, which is Sam Walton, Made in America, one of my favorite books by far. And in this book, he filled it up to the brink with a lot of details about everything and how he created his entire company and everything like that. But in this video, I'm actually going to talk about the three main parts of this book. So in reality, you don't have to read the book after you're done with this video. But if you want to read it, you can still read it for free because I have a link in the bio down below. You can actually read the book for free or listen to it, whatever you want to do. And guess what? It's free. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video so you can actually find out exactly what the three main parts are and how to actually get this book for free. And on top of that, guys, if you guys don't know me, my name is Tiny Bryson. I'm an accountant and I upload videos on YouTube every single day. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. On top of that, guys, I want to tell you one thing, right? I upload videos on passive income, book reviews, whatever you can think of, because guess what? No one taught me that stuff in high school or college, so I want to make sure I pass that information on now, now that I actually have it. And I actually want you to do me a favor. Hit the like button if you're excited about this book review. And on top of that, I want to ask you one question. What would you do with $140 billion today? What's the first thing you would actually buy? Now, the first thing I want to clarify is this. Tommy, what is Made in America by Sam Walton actually about? And the answer is this. To me, it's more like a business plan because it shows you exactly how he laid out the entire system to go from one store to building a $500 billion in sales last year company, okay? So he shows you that entire process and how he did every single thing and all his details and all his tricks and secrets. On top of that, here's my thing. Everyone says, you know, Sam Walton's goal was to lower the entire like living expense in the entire United States. But to me, this guy's entire goal was kind of like competition and to create something where you can actually take care of the customer and create a business that's superb beyond all extent, okay? Because if you didn't know this, right, Sam Walton change how retail was actually done in the United States. And it's very rare when a person passes away and leaves such a strong legacy that the company still lives on and still manages to do very well even after they pass away, which is insane, absolutely madness. So comment down below and let me know, is this the first time you're actually hearing about Sam Walton? And I'll tell you this, guys, a lot of people don't really know about him, just that he created Walmart. And I don't think that's not on purpose because this guy, when he was alive, he was very frugal and very low key. His entire purpose was like, hey, I want to do Walmart. Walmart is my baby. This is what I want to do for the rest of my life. And that's what he focused on. He was never the type of person who just like focused on like buying a whole bunch of things out there, just like living this glorious life. That wasn't his goal. His goal was taking care of the customer, creating a big business and just creating something that was really bigger than himself, which is absolutely insane. So comment down below and let me know, is this the first time you're hearing about Sam Walton or is it not? So now to comment it, I want to jump in straight into what are the three main parts of this book and the most important. And number one is this, swimming upstream. Now, in the book, by the way, guys, no one out there would get somewhere and get further than everybody else by doing what everyone else is doing. So, so here's what Sam actually meant by saying like, hey, swim upstream. What he basically meant is this, okay? Whatever you want to do, you have to do it in a different way than everyone else is doing it. So for example, Sam was very meticulous when it came to like paying attention to all the competitors, but he also paid attention to what everyone was doing right and also what they were doing wrong. So in reality, when he started doing the entire like discount business thing and everyone else was just doing like regular like retail, he said, well, you know what? I can either make a 30% margin here or 40, 50% margin, or I can pass on the savings for this deal to my customers. I might make a smaller margin, but in reality, I'll make more money because the volume will be greater. Now, that might seem like a very standard idea now, but back then, it was like revolutionary, okay? No one else was doing that. So by him actually going out there, and actually decreasing his margins and like just like passing those savings to the customers, he started doing things completely different. Now, a lot of people back then would say like, hey, that's not working, it's not gonna work, okay, just stop doing that. But eventually, it became a standard, but it only became a standard because guess what? He took the risk 
to start something brand new and head the opposite way than what everyone else was actually doing. You can only grow from discomfort. You can only grow by doing things differently. You can't grow by doing the exact same thing everyone is doing. Now, I'm not saying go out there and just like try to reinvent the wheel. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is take what people are doing correctly, do it and do it better. And also take what people are doing wrong and do it and do it way, way better. And that's how you pass on the savings. And that's how you grow a billion dollar business. And just to put it into example, guys, if you notice in today's era, everyone out there is trying to start like a Shopify store or e-com store, but none of them are worried about one person, which is like the customer. They're all worried about, Hey, how much money can I make? How many ads can I do? What's my conversion rate and all this stuff, but they don't really worry about, Hey, what can I do to pass the savings on to my customers? No one's worried about that. And that's why so many people fail at e-commerce because they don't know how to actually do it and actually worry about the most important person, which is again, the customer. Now, the second most important part is this passing on the profits to your associates or your employees, whatever you want to call them. Now in today's era, everyone calls their employees associates, but back then it was very different. Okay. Now I know this person. Okay. When I was working, people would call me like, Hey, that's my associate. You know, he works here, but you would actually get no benefits of a partnership or anything like that. Right. But with Walmart, once you qualify, you actually get benefits, discounts on stocks, and you even get like profits, a percentage of the profits into your entire employee account. So it's very different to how things run even today and very extremely different from how things actually run back then. Now, here's how it works, guys. Sam Walton had a very strong belief that if you take care of your associates, your employees, they'll take care of your customers and in return, profits and business will even do better. Okay. So for example, I know someone out there in my family that's made, you know, like millions of dollars in net profit in retail, right? Which is great, but his customers love him, but not so much his employees and associates or whatever you want to call them. And here's why he passes on all the savings to the customers, which is great, but he doesn't really take care of his employees that much by giving them a percentage of the profits of the store or even giving them any shares in the company. Okay. Now, Here's my thing. He might make millions of dollars every single year from retail, but in reality, he has a shrink problem and he also has a problem keeping employees. Now, here's my thing. If you keep your employees happy by giving them profits in the company, giving them shares in the company and also giving them discounts on the company, people start to develop loyalty to you. On top of that, guys, if you're in a company and the company takes care of you, you want to take care of the company and you feel like the company is a part of you also. And you also want to take care of the customer because you also feel like, Hey, this company is kind of like my company also because I get a percentage of the profits every single year. So that was the entire idea behind Sam Walton and actually profit sharing. But on top of that, he always wanted to make sure that his partners, his associates, the people in the front line knew that he had an open door policy and that whatever they would say, he would listen to them and make changes right away because you can't have management earning a hundred thousand dollars and then have your associates, the people in the front line earn like 10,000, 15,000, 30,000 dollars. doesn't work like that. You're not, not going to have happy employees and in return, you won't have happy customers. So by profit sharing, he created a very good business because everyone involved in the business actually wanted the business to succeed. Now here's the third most important part of this book and it's taking care of your customer and guaranteeing 100% satisfaction guarantee. Now here's what this means guys. I remember when I was working in college and I was working the entire financial aid, entire like category, whatever you want to call it. And I was also working at gap retail. These companies got so big and my college got so big to the point where they really weren't worried about the customer, like the students or the customer. They were really worried about making sales, getting people to actually join the college or just doing all that stuff. But Sam Walton always worried about one person, which is basically the customer. By the way, it's very simple and very easy. If you worry about the customer, that's all you really need to worry about. Okay. Because in reality, you can't have a business without any customers. If your customers are not happy, they won't shop with you. They won't buy anything from you. And then you can't have business. You won't make any money. The business will go broke. It's very simple to follow, but eventually the bigger companies get, they try to standardize everything. They try to say like, Oh my gosh, you know, we're going to do this in every single store and we're going to make a ton of money. Look at these sales. Just open up more stores here and there, but they don't worry about the customer on a, on a micro level. And that's one of the most important things that I actually learned from Sam Walton. For example, imagine I grow my YouTube channel to maybe like 50,000 subscribers. And then I stop reading comments. I stop responding. I stop like making videos. Like it doesn't make any sense. Okay. And a lot of YouTubers out there, they get really big. They make a ton of money. Then all of a sudden they stop making videos they stop responding to comments. And then that doesn't really go well because people don't really appreciate that because it's kind of like, okay, you got big, but there's no loyalty anymore. Okay. You're not taking care of us anymore. And that's the same thing with Walmart. 
no matter how big they got, they always took care of their customers. So comment down below and let me know which one of these is your favorite. Is it swimming upstream? Is it passing on the entire profits to your entire like employees? Or is it three? Actually taking care of your customer 100%. Now, me personally, it's all three of them. It's a trick question, but comment down below which one is actually your favorite and why. And if you made it this far into the video, I actually want to give you a bonus. Number four is actually marketing. Marketing is everything, and Sam Walton did a great job when it came to marketing. And number five is actually competition. Competitive nature at will, okay? For example, Sam Walton didn't reach his entire like $500 billion in sales company last year just by saying like, oh my gosh, you know, just do what you do over there and I'll do what I do over here. No, he was very competitive with everything he did. A very competitive man, a very competitive person, and because of that, he got very successful. And like I promised, if you want this book for free, all you have to do is click my Audible link down below. You get two free audiobooks, and if you don't have the money to pay like 15 bucks every single month and invest it into your future, then I recommend you just get the books, you cancel the membership, and you can still keep the books because Amazon takes care of their customers. Did you notice that? That's why Amazon is also so big. Almost bigger than, than Walmart, I think, at this point, right? I'm not sure. Comment down below. Let me know. And, and guys, as always, thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, go ahead and like the video. It really helps with the channel a ton. You won't believe how much one like one like helps the video okay on top of that if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe or hit the notification bell so you get notified every time i post a new video which is literally every single day and if you want to talk to me one-on-one -on -one, una uno just dm me on instagram at tommy bryson if you want to join the entire like subscriber like people here just join us on discord and the link is down below in the description down below but i have to warn you only 100 people are going to be allowed once those spots are filled it's going to be locked up until next year so get in while you still can if you don't get it on time you're gonna have to wait until 2020 so get in while you still can i'll see you guys next time on the next video thanks for watching and peace <laughs> You've got to start at the bottom If you're ever gonna reach the top You've gotta watch on the scene you so long